I know exactly who you are. You're someone that values their body size in order to feel superior. And someone like me challenges the way of your thinking and your value. You're trying to cheat me. You're trying to make me feel how you feel. Newsflash, it's not going to work and you're still going to feel like shit. I previously made a video about Jamie Weisberg trying to analyze what her content was all about. However, upon a second glance several months later, it appears that Jamie has shifted away from her polarizing fat acceptance posts and more towards generic clothing fit posts. Today we are going to take a glance at her TikTok and see if she has truly changed or if she is still the same old man-hating, skinny-shaming content creator. Jamie posts consistently. And while I'm not going to analyze each video for its own merit, I will break down her posts by my own archaic categories. We are going to compare and contrast two groupings of posts from more recently to several months back to see if she has truly changed. Jamie has pegged herself as a body positive content creator while denying people from accepting themselves for living a healthy lifestyle. She doesn't want to engage in the conversation about whether health at every size is true or if her opponents have any valid points. Her posts from my previous video were much more divisive and clearly seeking a response. But has she changed since then? I'm going to categorize these two chunks of videos by this criteria. Clothing posts, body positive posts, and critical videos to see if there's a striking dichotomy in how she posts. The first grouping of videos focuses primarily on generic outfit check style videos and the occasional collaboration video with some of her friends. There were not a lot of critical videos that she made discussing some certain topic that she would have qualms with. It felt like I was looking at any typical insecure 18 year old's Instagram post versus someone who is trying to push her propaganda of health at every size onto the masses. The second grouping of videos was much more divisive and was essentially what I was expecting when I went back to her page. A lot of non-coherent and inarticulate ramblings about how people cannot judge her and how she is actually smarter than everyone else. It appears when you compare the percentages between each other that the critical and clothing videos are flipped between the two groups. Now why did this happen? Maybe she realized that the fight she was putting on was not worthwhile. It also seemed that the comment sections for the obviously baity content were much more cognizant of what she was doing and didn't fall for her tricks. Her clothing showcase style videos had much more positive comments than the likes of You Go Girl. Does this mean that she has truly changed? Well, I think it actually brings to light an underlying personality trait that she has subtly exhibited. She isn't articulate and cannot represent her point of view in a cogent and meaningful manner, resulting in a complete disaster on her part. She replaces those style of videos with content seeking for validation. It feels as though she has a very infantile approach towards life, from name calling in an argument to dressing up as a Disney princess. At least in my own belief, this is not how an adult person should behave. It also is never fair to point the finger back towards the audience. Jamie does not need to post these videos. If you are putting anything on the internet, you are opening yourself up to criticism, and you must accept that factor in order to exist within this ecosystem. Her videos are giving off the vibe that she is stuck in an infant-like state, where she can accept terms for her life and therefore resorts back to a self-preservation state which in turn makes her seem childish. Is my assessment too strong? Is it too off base? I'd love to hear your comments and discussion down below. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.